Well, folks, oh, I didn't feel much like getting outside and doing nothing today. My old sciatic got twisted up. And so I thought I'd just do my next favorite thing. And that's uh, cook me something good and sweet to eat. And I like I like cooking. I like baking, especially pies and stuff like that, you know, and all. But something I really like is uh, cinnamon rolls. And uh, so today I'm gonna try to bake me up a batch of cinnamon rolls. And uh, I'm gonna start off here with 11 ounces of milk. This little old jar's got measuring on it. That's my measuring cup. And uh, four tablespoons of uh, melted butter. Yeah. Boy, butter make anything good, won't it? Well, I ain't get me nothing to start with. There we go. Now then. Stir it up a little bit. Not that melted butter and milk's gonna mix together, but there we go. I'm gonna stick them over here in the microwave for a minute or so and let it heat up a little bit. needs to be about a, oh, 105, 110 degrees, something like that. I ain't got no uh, thermometer, so I just had a guess at it. I got me a good old, I believe my red hen laid this egg right here. She's a good one. I lost my best and my friend the other day. My uh, varmint got her. I wouldn't have took nothing for that old hen. Well, something tells me I done that backwards. <laughs> that worked one. You know what? That just seems like a waste to me. I'm just gonna put that in there too. How about that? I just wanted to show y'all I could separate an egg from a white. <laughs> oh boy. Now then. We're starting off with some good ingredients. That's for sure. Good and healthy. Got my mixing bowl out here. Now then, I'm gonna put me some uh, yeast in here. I want it to rise and shine. I think that's what I need to do is eat me some yeast. My rise and shine ain't rising too high these days. Get the damn gum thing open. Anyhow, I'm gonna put about a teaspoon and about a a quarter of another. That's a half. That's a quarter. I could have probably guessed close enough at that. Hey, there we go. Get in there. Now then. 
roll this little baby up, put him somewhere over here out of the way. I might make something else after a while, I can't never tell. Give us, I don't reckon there's no uh, rule says you got to have a round mixing bowl. Since I ain't got one, I guess I'll use this one. Got my yeast in there. I'll set him over here somewhere in the microwave. No, I ain't gonna turn it on now. I'm just gonna set it in there. Ah. I don't know, five minutes or so, six, seven, eight. Whenever I happen to think of it. You know what the bad thing is? That's my mixing bowl. Huh. Well. I ain't gonna let that stop me. Now then, where was I at? What was I doing? Ah. Oh. All right, got me, got me bread flour out here. That bread flour ain't meal, is it? Yeah, that's bread flour. I don't know how good meal would work in it. I ain't never tried that. Might be all right. Might not be good at all. That's one. Two. Three. I think that's, that's right. Three uh, cups of bread flour. Now then. Well. I had this all in my head till I got started. Now I don't know. One and a half teaspoon TSP of salt. And uh, I'm out of regular old salt, but I got this here fine sea salt. It's made by Morton, so it's just probably regular old iodized salt without any iodine in it. Probably ain't never seen the sea. See what sea salt tastes like. Tastes kind of fishy. One. And a half. Yep. Now what? I don't know if I was supposed to put some sugar in there or that yeast or not. I don't guess so. It'll get it when it gets in here. Three tablespoons of sugar. I love me some sugar. That's my weakness. I used to be a smokeaholic. I used to be a chewing tobacco holic. I used to be a beer holic and a little moonshine holic. And uh, I give up all that stuff. Now I'm a sugar holic. 
which I got a feeling is probably worse for me than any of them was. What have I put in here? I got my salt in there, didn't I? I got my yeast in the other bucket. I got I got my uh, sugar in here. I got my flour in here. I'm going to pour my egg in here. But I think I'll mix this up some before I put that egg in there. Dibby 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 do. There we go. Now we're looking good. See, if you turn your spoon around this way, it don't throw flour all over the house. And I don't have as much to clean up after what I want to get on. Anyway, I don't forgot again what I got in there. Got my flour. I might have to, well, I'm gonna put some of this Johnny Boy vanilla flavoring in there, and I'm gonna put my egg in there. But I'm gonna put it in with my milk over there. That looks good. I believe I'm about ready to go over and check on my yeast. See if it started doing anything. I'll be back in a minute. 